Good evening and welcome on this feast day of St. Simon and Jude. Uh, St. Simon is the 11th apostle in the list of apostles that were appointed by Jesus, but very little else is known of him. Jude similarly um, was uh, often confused with Judas Iscariot, and so he wasn't venerated for some many centuries. But of course, he was a different man altogether. Tradition has it that they both um, ministered in the Far East, in the Middle East rather, the Mesopotamia, Persia, those sort of places. And they both died a martyr's death, one by the sword, and Simon is shown with a curved sword, the manner of his death in iconography, and uh, Jude with the club that he was beaten to death. These sort of grisly reminders uh, of what it is to be a Christian when you are persecuted and how people can keep to their faith and still forgive their enemies. A lesson to all of us. St. Jude, of course, is also the patron saint of lost causes or desperate causes. And uh, we may align ourselves with him on occasions uh, when we get desperate or feel lost in what we're doing. But we know that we have the Lord God behind us, that he doesn't promise us a good and easy life. As Jesus said, if you wish to follow me, you must pick up your cross, our own cross, and we believe that our own cross is tailor-made for each one of us. We all have a different cross to carry. And we're always in the right place where God puts us. And we have to get on with it, even if we're not very comfortable in that place. Most of us are reasonably comfortable. And uh, it certainly goes for me. I'm very uh, comfortable in this place. Well, comfortable is not quite the right word. I enjoy being here. Um, but I realise that... Uh, better people could be in my place. So there's a, a different uh, a, a degree of uh, comfort and discomfort. Um, but I'm in the right place, so I get on with it. And that's the main thing. That's all we can do. The Lord will provide in whatever we turn our hand to, if it is to the good, if it's to uh, enable his gospel to be spread in some way. Although this is a form of evangelization, it's ostensibly meant to be a time of prayer to God. And then we come together and join in prayer together to praise our maker, the Lord God, the creator of the universe, who sent his son to die for us. And so we thank him for the benefits and blessings we've received today. We also come and say sorry for the things that haven't gone so well, that we messed up in some way or that we failed to do, we failed to respond in the right way or at the right time. So we come as loyal Christians, hoping that our faith will be made firmer and that we will become more courageous and more reliable as Christians. And we have our Blessed Lady to help us with her intercession. So let us recall that we're not alone. We are in that company of heaven with Simon and Jude and all the saints and our Blessed Lady as well, that we can worship our God. And so let us join our voices together <clears throat> in this evening prayer, these Vespers. We commence as usual with the Angelus. Your prayers that you've sent in today will be offered at the end of the intercessions of Vespers. And after the simple blessing at the end, uh, we will have the evening anthem to Our Lady. So to the words of the angel Gabriel. <clears throat> The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And the hymn I'm using this evening will be from Universalis, Now Let the Heavens with Joy Resound. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Now let the heavens with joy resound, and earth a choir around. Not heaven nor earth too high can raise the great apostles' glorious praise. Theirs was the steadfast faith of saints, the unconquered hope that never faints. The perfect love of Christ to know that lays the power this world low. In them the Father's glory shone, in them the Spirit will was done. The Son's glad praise to them is given, with joy resound the courts of heaven. To the Redeemer now we cry, that with this glorious band on high, through endless ages by his grace, the servants also may have place. You are the men who have stood faithfully by me in my trials. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds, a thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. You are the men who have stood faithfully by me in my trials. I am here among you as one who serves. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am here among you as one who serves.
I shall not call you servants anymore. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I learned from my Father. Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him and things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I shall not call you servants any more. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything learned from my Father. From the letter to the Ephesians. To some, his gift was that they should be apostles. To some, prophets. To some, evangelists. To some, pastors and teachers. So that the saints together make a unity in the work of the service, building up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God, until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself. Tell of the glory of the Lord. Announce it among the nations. We repeat, tell of the glory of the Lord. Announce it among the nations. Speak of his wonderful deeds to all the peoples. Tell of the glory of the Lord. Announce it among the nations. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Tell of the glory of the Lord. Announce it among the nations. When all is made new and the Son of Man sits on his throne of glory, you will sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When all is made new and the Son of Man sits on his throne of glory, you will sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. Since we are part of a building that has the apostles for its foundation, let us pray to the Father for his holy people. Lord, remember your church. Father, when your son rose from the dead, you showed him first to the apostles. Let us make him known near and far. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news to the poor. Grant that we may bring his gospel into the darkness of all lives. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to plant in men's hearts the seed of imperishable life. May we labour to sow his word and reap a harvest of joy. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to reconcile the world with yourself by the shedding of his blood. Let us become his fellow workers in restoring all people to your friendship. Lord, remember your church. You placed your Son at your own right hand in heaven. Receive the dead into the happiness of your kingdom. Lord, remember your church. Now we offer your prayers and light a candle for each one of them. A prayer request from Eric and Margaret Bruce that they be prayed for as they celebrate their diamond wedding anniversary today. We thank them for a wonderful example of long married life. Alicia Subri asks that we pray for Michael, who died on the 20th of, 28th of October last year. We ask to pray for his soul, peace and reunion with his family and friends in heaven. And Ray Trainer asks us to pray for his wife, Murray Trainer, who is undergoing tests. Chrissy and Russell ask for our prayers for young Ethan and his elder brother David, that they be healed of all hurts and anguish that they have suffered. And we pray for them to have a personal encounter with Jesus. On this Thursday, when we traditionally pray for vocations to the priesthood, we pray more earnestly for vocations in our own diocese of Arundel and Brighton, that the calling voice of the Lord may be responded to among our own young men and in this parish and beyond. That they have the courage to take up that call. Yasmin asked that we could ask, she could offer a prayer and candle in remembrance of Ellen Henry, her grandmother, on the day of her birthday. Maureen asks that the 100 indigenous delegates attending the COP26 meeting in Glasgow will be given access to suitable food and accommodation and not excluded from decision making. For those who work to relieve depression and despair around our area, that they may find hope and encouragement to fill their lives. And we pray for the future happiness of David and Stephanie, who will be married here in this church tomorrow.
and we pray for the repose of the souls of all the faithful departed this life, that they may encounter God's everlasting mercy and that he admit them to eternal joy. We remember particularly our own loved ones who have gone before us. Let us pray that prayer that our Saviour himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you taught us to call upon your name through the preaching of the apostles. At the intercession of St. Simon and St. Jude, may your church continue to grow by an increase in the number of believing nations. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before we go in peace, we sing the evening anthem to Our Lady. Salve Regina, Mata Misericordiae, Vita Dolcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filiae eve, a te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos convete. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, Nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 